Hello everyone. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Uh, in this lecture, we'll see how a water tank is constructed, right? So there are many, uh, many way of constructing the water tank and there are many types of water tank. So to get an idea, we'll just try to look into this, how this actually, you know, uh, how the water tank actually looks like. So of course you should have a foundation. So you will be having a foundation level here. And after that to certain height, no, you'll be doing this column, like this column will come then uh, around the circumference, you know, uh, the beam is going to come. Then again, the column, the beam, the column and the beam is going to come. Okay. So this uh, beam, usually it is given uh, from bracing point of view because we can call it as a tie beam as well. Because uh, if you, if you give you a complete length of a column, then it will become a, a long column. So again, uh, due to the slenderness ratio, uh, there, there is a chance of buckling. All right. So in order to avoid that, what we give is we give this uh, beams here. They have written it here bracings, right? Anyhow, the dimension of the beam is like, uh, let us say 300 by 600. And these columns, what you can see, they can be the circular column, like you can see it here. So this is circular column, circular column, circular, and uh, uh, the periphery is given by a beam. In the same way, these are your rectangular columns. It depends on the uh, design, how we exactly want to give it, right? And after that, uh, you'll be getting one uh, bottom ring beam here. This is called as a ring beam. And after that, you're going to give a small, you know, a dome here, then the entire wall is going to come, right? So I hope you got an idea exactly how a water tank is going to look. And this is your top dome here, right? In this way, the top dome will come and whatever water you want, you can store it here, right? So now we'll try to see the step-by-step -step, uh, procedure of how it is done, okay? First, of course, whenever you take any project, first you have to do the excavation. So we'll try to see this. The site is excavated for the required depth whatever is will be given in the structural drawing, no? the depth of the excavation will be done. Anyhow, maybe in the subsequent lectures, uh, I'll be adding uh, the structural drawing as well so that we can try to understand what exactly is shown in the structural drawing. So the depth of the excavation will be mentioned in the structural drawing and the site engineer will do the excavation accordingly. After the excavation, a PCC is placed to get a level surface. And uh, always we know that PCC stands for plain cement concrete. Uh, and we don't want our, you know, the concrete to come in contact with the soil, right? And also we want a proper surface to keep our rebar. So that is why we do a PCC. And in PCC, we know we have M7.5 or M10 grade of concrete, whichever you want, you can uh, make use of it and you can lay the PCC, right? So you can see it here, uh, a circular excavation has been done since it's a circular water tank, okay? And once this is done, whatever depth of excavation you require, let us say here, what they've done is they've done the excavation of six feet, okay? They've done the excavation of six feet here. And after that, they have put a PCC, you can see here, uh, in the bottom. So everywhere they have put a PCC here. And how do you get this uh, entire, you know, excavation like in a circular in shape? So uh, in the drawing, it, they'll be given what is the total diameter of your tank, right? So what these people have done, they have put, uh, you know, uh, you can see a small uh, rebar here. And with the help of this, what they've done, they've taken the diameter of this. So throughout everywhere, they have put the diameter. And with the help of that, what they've done, they've done the excavation. It's very simple mathematics, what you need to apply there. Whatever is there in the drawing, um, uh, you find a center point of that. And whatever is your diameter, you know, right? This, sorry, not the diameter, sorry. This is a radius, right? Yeah, this is a radius. And whatever is a radius, no, you try to do the excavation and that will happen. Okay, shallow. So once that is done, next we are supposed to do a PCC. So you can see a PCC has been done here. Everywhere the PCC has been done, right? So I hope up to here your concepts are clear. Yeah, after that, what is there? Next is placing of raft foundation steel in the water tank foundation. That means, see, once you have done the PCC, next is uh, whatever steel is here because you have to put a raft foundation here, okay? So these are your uh, reinforcement which is going to come. All these things will be written in the drawing, like what diameter of the reinforcement you have to use and all. The steel for the raft foundation is placed. The bar bender will prepare the BBS for the steel and accordingly the steel will be cut. The bars are placed as per the structural drawings, whatever diameter of the bar you're supposed to use here. So here they have made use of uh, uh, 10 diameter bar, 10 and 12 diameter bar, and uh, whatever is there in the structural drawing, you know, the same has been executed, right? So in this way, what they have done, they have uh, cut the bar and they have placed it here. So after that, see, this is uh, another uh, water tank, what I'm showing you. Here also, it's the same thing. They have done the excavation. They put the PCC, and this is how they're tying the bar, okay? So you can see it here, you no? Know? Again, the whatever is the shape of your tank, if it is circular in nature, so you can see a circular bar has been cut and the bar have been placed in this way. Yeah, so once that is done, the next is to place the column. You can see it here, what is written? Uh, 
uh, placing of column reinforcement over the raft for reinforcement. That means once your raft reinforcement has been tied, once you finish that, next is you have to prepare a column. Of course, the column usually it will be like, you know, <clears throat> In this particular uh, water tank, they have made use of a column of 300 by 300 mm. And for that, whatever reinforcement is going to come, here they are making use of a 12 diameter 6 number of bar. So you can see a 12 diameter 6 number of bar here. 1, 2, 3. These are my longitudinal reinforcement. And whatever is your lateral ties that you have to provide here. And you have to prepare a bar bending schedule for that. right? So what is written? After a raft uh, reinforcement is placed, the next step is to place the column reinforcement has for the structural drawing. The column location and the reinforcement details will be mentioned in the drawing. The site engineer will do the work as per the drawing, right? And wherever your column is supposed to come, uh, it will be mentioned in the drawing. And based on that, what you have, to, you have to find the location of that. And based on that, you have to do the execution. Again, at what location your uh, column is going to come, that will be mentioned in the drawing. Like from this column to this column, let us say you have to keep three meters center to center spacing. So three meters center to center spacing, you have to you're, you're making sure it's happening on the site. And based on that, the execution will be done. And finally, you see how it looks. Okay, right. Finally, how it looks. No, uh, you have placed your PCC. If you remember, then we had put the uh, raft reinforcement. Then you have put this column. Okay, you have put the column, right? So before the column is put, no, uh, you have to place this. This is called as a one beam here. There's a beam here. So you have to put a beam here. And uh, once the column is placed, you have to pass a beam through it. Okay. So once the column is placed. After that, what we are going to do, you can see a beam here. This is my beam here. So this beam reinforcement, uh, you're going to pass through this column. And this is how your circular beam is going to look, right? Again, uh, normal reinforcement may be given in your structural drawing. Like you need to provide a, a 16 diameter three bar at the top and 16 diameter three bar in the bottom. And you have to make use of a 8 mm lateral ties. Uh, sorry, 8 mm uh, stirrup. And the center to center spacing you have to keep at 150. Here they are kept as 150 center to center spacing. That is from this tier up to this tier up, this tier up to this tier up. From here to here, the center to center spacing what they are kept is 150 center to center spacing. And then uh, at the top they are made use of uh, 16 diameter three bar in the top. They are one, two, three bar. You can see it here, right? So this is uh, one bar here, right? So this is second bar, and then this is third bar. So three bar at the top, they are used and also bottom also they are used the reinforcement and these things will be mentioned based on that you have to do the ex execution, right? Yeah. So this is a one more drawing I'm showing. It's not related to this particular site where it is happening, but a general drawing I'm showing. See, uh, different ways of doing the water tank based on the requirement and based on the drawings that is given to you. So here also again, the uh, procedure remains the same. A circular excavation has been done. Then they put the bottom reinforcement. And after the bottom reinforcement, look at this particular beam. It's a heavily, uh, you know, uh, the reinforcement is so much here, right? And then they have put the column here. You can see one, two. But here you see the column, they're circular in nature. Based on the requirement, uh, those uh, reinforce, based on the requirement, the column uh, reinforcement will be given, whether it has to be a circular or a uh, rectangular or a square in nature, right? These are your circular reinforcement given here. Next is placing of ring beam reinforcement over the raft, right? And yeah, that I've explained you. Once you're placing the column, Next is you have to put this uh, beam here. And once this beam is put, finally, what you have to do, we'll do the concreting of this. So next is shuttering for placing the raft footing concrete. That means once you've done all these things, you have to place the concrete, right? So once all the reinforcement work is done, the next step is to place the concrete. Before placing of concrete, the shuttering has to be done so that the concrete can be placed easily and the concrete will gain its desired shape and strength. The shuttering is done for the inner side of the foundation and the height required and the height required for the raft footing is maintained accordingly will while the concreting right whatever should be the depth of your concreting here that will mention in the drawing again you have to do the shuttering so in this time how you are going to do the shuttering of course one basic idea what we have is see if i pour the concrete all the concrete will come out from here right that means i need to put a shuttering here so what i'm supposed to do is i want to put a shuttering in this way you can you're getting my point so in this way everywhere the shuttering uh, board will be kept so that the concrete will not come here other than that, on the outer side also, you can see the outer side, all these are my outer side, okay? If you can see my blue color marking, all these are outer side. So here also you have to do the shuttering. But anyway, uh, you don't have any space here, but uh, it's not an issue, you can pour the concrete, but again, your concrete will come in contact with the soil. So sometimes in the local construction, that is how they do. But if you work according to the quality, then actually what you're supposed to do is, you have to take a bigger diameter, and then you should have enough working space so that you can place your shuttering here. Right. So that's how it has to be done. So in the next lecture, I'll explain you uh, how this, how the shuttering is done here. 
and we'll try to understand how all those things has to be uh, understood and also we'll try to cover the structural drawings as well so that we get an idea uh, how the structural drawings are worked out for the water tank okay so we'll try to see all those things so uh, if you're interested in uh, learning uh, something like this like i have a different courses on a site engineering course there's a course on quantity estimation bar bending schedule and boq you have a course on drawing reading where i've covered a lot of uh, drawings you can even take this course other than that we have a etap course the basic project planning so if you want to take any combo courses also that is also possible so i will see you back in the next lecture thank you